What's up? I'm KT Rich, and today we're gonna be checking out a new scary video by one and only Llama Art. So, to end off Halloween on a perfect note, we're gonna be checking out Camping Horror Story 3. This is animated. Bro, anime is always better. And if you guys see in the back, man, I'm watching this new anime. Well, it's on Netflix, but it's like a C CGI, something like that. I don't know what it's called, but it's a cool show. Y'all know me, bro. If you got fighting in it, fast storyline, and it's animated, I'm going to check it out all day. So if you guys got any more anime that you guys want to recommend me, send me that information in the comment section below. But first off, before we start this video, how everybody's Halloween go? I know y'all got some stories for days, and if y'all want to share any of that information, just check out KT's Discord. All that information will be description box all day, every day. Let's go! My friend and I would go to this forest we found a few months ago. It was a 20 minute bike ride plus a mile walk to get where we used to camp. We made a teepee as our base and even sharpened a few sticks in case we had to fight anything. I know it's dumb, but we thought it was super cool at the time, being 14 years old. What? I'm a big fan of horror movies. I'd make my friend watch them with me all the time, and he hated it. Smack yourself! Dying is not fun! He would always get paranoid that someone or something was gonna get us when we were there. That's how we came up with the idea to make a teepee and wooden spears, so we wouldn't be attacked. We were finishing the school year online and had to study for finals, so we hadn't been back to the forest in weeks. After the finals were all said and done, we decided to take a trip up there to relax and check to see if our TP was still there. Our parents agreed to let us stay there on the basis that we'd keep in touch throughout the night. We didn't tell our parents this, but we would always take a big buck knife and a hatchet with us. We really thought we were manly. Anyway. When we were gathering our stuff for the night in the forest, we noticed that the buck knife was missing. We thought nothing of it and assumed we'd just left it at the forest the last time we were there. On the bike ride there, my friend was on edge. we just watched a scary movie and he was being a wimp as usual. At around 8pm, we arrived at the rough part of the forest, where we had to continue the rest of the journey on foot. As we were walking, we smelled a terrible stench in the air. I couldn't locate or tell what it was. This of course made my friend think that there was a dead body and said we needed to leave right away. I don't care bro, if your intuition is telling you that not to go, there's a dead body, anything, if you're starting to feel butterflies out of nowhere, then run! You know I never seen Scream, Scary Movie, or the reenactment? I told him that he was being a wimp and overreacting. The crunching of the fall leaves began to sound like squelching. As we peered down, we saw a trail of red leading up to where our teepee was. This really freaked my friend out. That's not so I told him I'd spotted a can of That's spray paint so in the sick. trash a mile back and that someone was probably playing a no. prank just to calm him down. Of course that's a prank, man. Come on, man. I mean, shit, you know what I'm saying? Just a little blood. Well, a lot of blood in that case, but shit. What you mean? The closer we got to our base, the stronger the smell became. When we finally got there, we saw our teepee and felt a huge wave of relief come over us, even though the smell was as pungent as ever. We peeked inside the teepee through the little door flap we had made, and what we saw That's was worse. Haunting. There was evidence of someone living there. Of course! The clothes looked like Shit, that's a free home! No taxes? Man. We continued to investigate the site. Behind the teepee was two rotting deer carcasses with a wooden spear in one and a buck knife in the eye of the other. At this point, my friend was already running back to our bikes, but I stupidly stayed for a little longer to scope out the area. Yeah, leave that for him. greeted by a deep, monstrous nah, voice. Nah, leave that nigga. Would you like uh -uh, to nigga, it's all to the forever? Guy. As I slowly turned around, I was confronted by a creepy old man. I couldn't even begin to describe his face. It was unlike anything I'd ever seen in my life. I bolted back to my friend. Luckily, he's a slow runner, so it was easy to catch up to him. We then biked back as fast as we could, not looking back. Shit, man, I want to hear the rest of that story! 
You can't just cut it off at that. Look, I don't know about you, but I want, is it messed up that I want to see something else happen? I was out doing a delivery one late night. It was probably the longest drive I'd have ever taken for a pizza delivery. From the pizza place I worked at, it was a 20 minute drive, which isn't too crazy out where I live. Plus, they ordered four large pies, so I figured it was a party and I would get a much bigger tip. Navigating the dirt roads at night was always annoying though. I pulled up to the given address. It was some old, sketchy looking building, literally in the middle of a forest clearing. There were no cars parked anywhere, or any lights on. I put my car in park and called my boss. I asked him to reread the address at least three times to make sure I typed it in right, but that checked out. I could tell he was in a really bitchy mood, and he told me to at least knock on the door and check it out. He would normally get mad if we took back one pie, but I was afraid of what he would do if I brought back four. I was insanely unnerved, but got out anyway and forced myself to the front door of the building. There was no doorbell, so I just knocked really hard. I heard nothing and didn't really expect to hear anything. I was extremely disappointed, not because nobody answered the door, but because I was realizing that it was all a waste of time and gas. I knocked one more time out of desperation. Bro, get out of here, man. And then began to hear some kind of rustling noises. Nah, from bro, of the nah, building. bro, that, nah, bro. It's like catch a predator. Talking about you ain't dressed. I knocked again uh -uh. and yelled that I was the pizza guy. If you ain't expect your delivery coming, then something else is wrong, bro. Any other normal person is waiting for their delivery to show up. This looks suspect. There was silence now. I felt a bit more uncomfortable now than before. Bro! But before I could it's turn around, only pizza. I noticed something at the window. There was someone looking through the window. Yeah, at that. I couldn't tell yeah, if uh -uh. it was a man or a woman. All bro, noticed, you better get them googly eyes up out of here, bro. You better take these paws and get the, my face, bro. Ooh. Their eyes. Their eyes were open wider than I knew possible, staring intently at me. I was disturbed enough by this and dropped the pizzas and ran back to my car. Bro, how you gonna lose the shitty pies? thing wouldn't start until turning the key for the third time. Man, that's like my I car. drove off the grass and back onto the dirt road, but I felt the car rocking about, shaking and bumping. Something wasn't right. I didn't make it far from the building before I started hearing a sharp scraping sound coming from outside. They split his tires! There was so much resistance that I couldn't even drive. They split your tires! The car came to a stop. Crap, bro, you a goner! I got out of the car to check what the hell was wrong. A chill ran up my spine as I began to feel like my heart was constantly skipping beats. My tires had been slashed and had completely fallen off the rim. Not just the front, though. All four tires were slashed. No, they definitely got it, bro. It's somebody over. did this when I was knocking Look. on the door to that building. Hey, bro, they slashed all four of the tires. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You a goner, man. If you ain't never seen a scary slash horror movie in your life, you always know they may look like they gonna get away, but they're goner. Instead of running, I got back in the car and locked the doors. I was so close to that building, I could practically see it from where I was if it weren't for the trees blocking the view. I dialed 911 and explained everything to the operator. She told me the cops would be over as soon as possible and that I need to stay hidden. I oh, asked her if it was that? advisable to stay in the car or run, and she told me it would be best to stay in the car with the door locked. What? She asked me to no! stay in the line with her until the cops Don't. arrived. Don't listen. My whole body was shaking. In all directions, there was nothing but dark, seemingly endless forest. I knew it would take forever for the cops to get there. He's a goner. I was not comfortable with sitting in that car so close to whoever did this. The next part, though, is what utterly destroyed me. It still shakes me to this day, and I hope nobody ever has to experience this kind of fear. As I was scanning all the windows, making sure nobody was outside, I looked in the rearview mirror, and there was the same person. The same person I saw at that window. Eyes open wider than ever. I could see now that it was a woman, and I could
could ever so slightly see a smile begin to spread across her face. I opened my door and full on sprinted into the woods, not caring how much noise I made. Bro, this milk chase ain't bringing none of the boys to the yard. Damn right, it is not better than y'all. I opened my door and full on sprinted into the woods, not caring how much noise I made. I ran <laughs> I like until I was out of breath, <laughs> which didn't take long, Yo. and I hid behind a giant log on the ground. I tried to cover my loud breathing with my hand as I waited and waited for what felt like hours until I finally heard sirens in the distance. I gathered up all the stamina I had left to run all the way back in the direction of the dirt road. Eventually, the glowing red and blue lights came into view, and I had never felt better in my life. They were parked in front of my car, investigating with flashlights. Bro, bro, them fools came out in the middle of nowhere fast and I seen them come anywhere, and that's in the city. I came out yelling at them like a lunatic to help me. I uh -uh. fell to the floor They're and started shoot. to gag, uh -uh. almost throwing up from running so shoot. much. They're gonna shoot you! They picked me up and they began to question me, to which I explained everything to the best of my ability. One of the two cars drove over to the building, and the two officers began to search the building. They came back with nothing except for a couple of- But how did his car make it back if all four of his tires was previously slashed by the girl who's with the milkshake trying to bring the boys to the yard? I'm just like, that kind of confused me a little bit. Spiky objects. These objects were exactly the same as the ones used to slash my tires. The cops guessed that it was some kind of sick, demented couple being that I saw the woman, but unfortunately they were never found and that still kills me to this day. I obviously quit my job right after that and started working at a local grocery store. Yeah, at that. I know that I'll never forget mm -mm. seeing that woman at the back of my car. Cars ain't worth your life. Smart move. You'll never find any crazy people in there, but that pizza job was not worth his life at all. Now that I think about it, pizza people got the hardest job. They gotta go to all the creeple houses and they are gonna run past some creeples if you think about it. Like we all know there's some people out there that shouldn't be out there, but they out there. And with that being said, sooner or later, you're gonna run across them. This whole week, I'm gonna be celebrating Halloween. So we're gonna be doing some fun things, prank skits, and also me doing a let's play today. It's called Paranormal Phobia. A scary game i'm gonna be putting that up on the channel so hit that like button if you want to see more scary let's plays and if you guys want me to invite my bro blast don't forget to share this video all right y'all i'm out peace